Hey yo, today we're going to be doing a run with Guardian. Now, I have the least experience with this class, so I'm not as comfortable with all the perks and item combos yet as I am with all the others. I had a few in mind, but we would see what the run held in store for us. Actually, let me try Let me try this. One seco. Gotta get out of thumbnail mode. The igniter gun caught our eye because it came with the blaze affix, which adds another 15% burn damage on top of what it already does. I like this gun, but it's not my top pick. Seeing blaze persuaded me to take it and have some fun. We got a pretty good green roll on our igniter gun because it has blaze, which is 15% increased damage over time. So this can actually be pretty nasty. Hello, I'm new here. Well, welcome to the stream VM wave. Hope you enjoy yourself. Thanks for checking it out. Let's take crab. How am I? I'm doing great. Thank you very much. Hope you're doing well too, man. Hope you've had a great weekend. Stim bubble. We do like stim bubble. Yeah. We'll take that. Now, Stimbable is one of the perks that I am familiar with in Guardian, and I'm almost always going to be taking this because it's just a straight-up damage Ouch. boost, and we can get infinite ammo down the line, which could open us up to bottle cap builds, too. Uh, let's... I'm actually going to head quarry today. I've been this game for quite a while, and it's pretty good. Not many people know it exists. Yeah, that's the sad part, isn't it? What, it's such a gem of a game, but it's like criminally underexposed, you know? I really, uh. I really hope this game gets a lot more exposure. It really deserves it. It is. It is. One of two FPS roguelites of, like, notable success right now. And. It's such a small genre that people just don't even know about. I really hope it gets some some good marketing. You know, I've I've been saying it for a while now. It's very wishful thinking. Don't ever. I, I'm not expecting this, but it would do wonders if Jeff Keeley got you know if Jeff Keeley showed this game off at the Game Awards and it was like RoboQuest 1.0 official release is out now. People would buy. People, so many people would buy it. It appeals to so many people, but people just straight up don't know it exists. It's really sad. As your weekend, man, Mike, weekend has been great, Steampunk. I hope you had a great weekend, too, man. It's good to be back. Good to be streaming a little bit. I think that's definitely healthy, though, to take the weekends off. I think that's definitely the, a, a good thing for me to do from here on out. Take yo-yo. We might go Meteonade today. Um, I don't really need to upgrade this yet, so I'm not gonna. Yeah, but this thing is still do doing some good work. if I can't hold on to my power cells for something a, a bit different. The igniter gun was doing pretty well, even though we didn't upgrade it. I wasn't really committed to keeping a green weapon for the whole run, but maybe if I found a blue one when I'm doing a targeted elemental build one of these days, I'd finish a run with it. I do genuinely like the weapon, but it's always something I ignore in late game. What are you, a volcano rifle? Yes, please. I'm sorry. It is a volcano rifle with um, thunder on it, which is great for me. I love mixing our elements. I 
do want to try Meteo Weapon. We're going to try Meteo Weapon this run. I feel like we're going for a bit of an elemental run here. Um... Was my B-Day on Saturday? Also, this game is great. Gateway for ga uh, Doom Lovers getting the roguelikes. Hey, happy birthday, man. Hope you had a great birthday. I think it's more than just Doom Lovers. I feel like just... I feel like a lot of people would be willing to take a chance on this game if they could just see what the gameplay looks like. From, like, a good player, obviously. This Volcano Rifle was putting in work. I'm a big fan of this weapon as well. It feels like I always put off the base elemental weapons for some reason, but I do really like them. Maybe we'd keep this one since it already had a nice roll on its own. As far as I've been playing, my favorite weapon is the dual boomsticks. I just love playing with it. Yeah, man, it's each their own. That's the thing that's beautiful about the game. No weapon really feels like it's terrible. You know, they're all viable. They're all viable. Hmm. Let me try line breaker. Probably not the right call, but it's the call I'm going to make. We snagged Line Breaker because I thought the increase to damage would be worth it for the small inconvenience of hitting a target with Bash or head bonking them. I do these things semi-regularly in combat, so it seemed like a solid pick. Just cooking that Goliath right now. Oh my god. That is what we like to see. With the Volcano Rifle and the Stim Bubble, we were putting in work, but we were only in the quarry, so nothing really stood a chance against us at this point in the run anyways. We were coming up on a boss though, so I was excited to use them as a DPS test to see how strong this combo really see how was we can already. Handle a boss. I feel like we definitely took a while in that area, longer than we'd like. It was great also, I hope for future gadgets that could cause some gadgets to clash, so you have to choose which one suits you. Boost packs, one on the ground in the air, you can boost yourself in a direction using the crouch button. Better hero escape. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Kaboom nade. The fact that I was able to. So here's the thing Kaboom grenade isn't meant to be a weapon that you use only. It's supposed to be like a support weapon. And it does its role very well. But you go ahead and you do Kaboom only run, and yeah, you're gonna have a bad time. That being said, I do still think Kaboom Grenade is the worst weapon in the game, but you can still use it. The video I released is proof of that. Um, This is nice. Initiative is pretty nice here. I think I take that. Where's the Ionic Fists? 
Yes. I've done plenty of runs with Ionic Fists. Especially after my Kaboom Grenade run. Because Jinx kept telling me that Ionic Fist is worse. And I did a lot of runs where we were just kind of sweeping with the Ionic Fists. We'll take cherries. Better than dying at least, true. Will the next challenge run Commando Flare Gun? I don't know. I, I, I'm I not really looking into challenges. It's just kind of whatever feels fun to me at the moment. Dual LMGs with Buckshot doesn't sound too bad, honestly. Doesn't sound too bad. What if I re-roll this? Nah, I'll keep it as is. Let's just re-roll. Thunder is actually putting in work on it, like, so... I'll take it. Whoa, is that a blue rarity windmill rifle I see? Okay, okay, hold on. No, it only has one blue affix. That's so sad. I'm not really too big a fan of the dual boomsticks, personally. I've used all the weapons. Well, I've used like 90% of the weapons. Basically, the only weapons I haven't used are the ones that can only drop after the first boss. Some of them. Just because, like, by the time I'm done with the first boss, I'll have a weapon that I kind of want to stick with. And I'm kind of like trying to build around. So it's not really convenient for me to take some of these other weapons. Probably fire rate. Yeah, I'll take fire rate. CD. Now that is a good one. I'm taking CD. And we could take bottle cap here. I think I will take bottle cap and fly swatter. Nice. All right. I kind of want to try out Fusion Core. We may or may not die here. I haven't gone Fusion Core other than the very first time I ever went Fusion Core. So, uh, you know, just warning you ahead of time. We may just, like, perish. We found the bottle cap. Now we'd be doing 20% increased damage anytime we popped our stim bubble when our magazine was full, or in this case, when our energy was at 0%. Gotta try out the mine gun. No. No, never mind. I don't really like the mine gun too much. There's a lot of weapons I do and don't like. We're kind of cooking with this stuff, though. 
Oh, we're in an arena room. I thought we were going to no hub area. My bad. Watch your beluga cannon run yesterday. It's a really OP weapon with a chance of firing twice. Well, the thing that makes it fire twice is a blue affix called Free Wheel. It doesn't just have the chance to fire twice on by default. Free Wheel is an incredible affix, though. I do really, really enjoy that affix. Yeah, but the Beluga Cannon's a great weapon. I love that thing. I think it's great. Is that a blue Kramer down there? How cute of it, thinking that I'm gonna take it. All right, Medio Bubble. Do we want this? Oh wait, no. Top quality would be really good with what we're going for. Yeah, we'll take top quality for sure. Top quality is going to be great. I'm really looking forward to that. God, why is my hair keep Top quality would work beautifully with our build because we already have infinite ammo when shooting with stim bubble and pairing it with bottle cap could result in some crazy stim bubble damage. We do indeed like ourselves some dual stingers. But Miss B is also great, so I think we're gonna take Miss B. Here's one, the Typhoon Minigun. Never really used this before. That's an example of a gun that can't show up until you beat the first boss, you know? Atomic Mushroom though, or Credit Card. That's a tough call. And I think we're gonna go with Credit Card. I want this you know what we're gonna try it out we're going to try it out with buckshot no less sure we'll give it a go see if it's worth its salt Well, it certainly seems fun. Especially because we got top quality. liking this. The Typhoon minigun was feeling great, and it was trivializing the fusion core, an area considered to be one of the hardest in the game, and one I do not visit often. Definitely putting in the work, fellas. Definitely putting in the work. That's a great kunai. That's a great kunai, but I want to stick with this. Screwdriver, eh? Ooh. 
We like that. We like that. And that's a double affix windmill. No, 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 no. We're going to stick with the typhoon gun because we want to try it out. But bowl? Yeah, that's a good one. All right, let's get in there. Let's get in there. Wow, this thing actually just does not use up like any energy. It's actually crazy good. What? I am liking this. This pairs so well with top quality. We did have infinite ammo stim bubble and credit card to reduce the amount of heat buildup, but still, this thing was barely generating any heat in the first place. It was basically like top quality was permanently active even without the upgrade that extends its threshold to 50%. It was crazy. I'm also curious, did it have a degree? No, that's probably my Meteo bubble now that I think of it. So I'm like, is there a degree of tracking on it? Because I feel like I'm killing things that I'm not aiming at, but that's probably just my Meteo bubble. TV remote probably works best on uh, Guardian, just because, like, yeah, see, even if I get hacked, I'm not in immediate danger, because my ability literally keeps me from taking damage. The TV remote is just an absolute win on Bastion. I, I, I never, I would see, it's hard to see, like, a reason to not take TV remote on Bastion. Now, since we are in Fusion Core, we're going to be fighting a unique boss, Duke Nuker. Now, I've only ever fought him twice before this, and I lost my first time, so there was a chance we could lose the run here. Wow, this thing is just incredible. I am loving this thing. Hold on, we gotta see this against the, the boss. Hello, Duke Nuker. You ready? Let's throw down. I forgot how the fight works, and I'm scared. The weapon was not doing as much damage as we'd hoped, and we were getting cooked. I really don't want to lose the run here, but we might not have a choice. That was a close one. That was a close one. I got a little rusty in that fight. It's been a while since I fought Duke Nuker. Oh my god. I did Cryo in this build? I prefer Cryo over Shock every time. Cryo hands down my favorite. It's just more damage. It's just more damage. Floppy Disk is honestly solid here, but so is Monocle. Um, we already have Meteo Bubble, so Floppy Disk would pair really well with that. It's more expensive than Monocle 2, so I will take it. We'll take top 50. Of course we'll take Ugly Tie. And then we can't hit crits with this, right? So yeah, we'll take Poppy. We take Poppy all day. All right, let's roll. Make the magic happen. Finding Poppy here was a big deal since we were using a weapon that can't directly crit. It can only crit from auto crit chance. Maybe if we had this in the last boss fight, it would have been over quickly. We'd see how much of an improvement this made, but we were essentially locking ourselves into non-crit weapons from this point on.
We were taking damage left and right, and it was mainly because I was focusing on how much damage we were doing. Typhoon Minigun was putting in work, but I needed faster, stronger damage, preferably on a weapon that isn't heavy. I enjoyed my time with the weapon, but it didn't seem like this gun was for this run. We'd have to be on the lookout for something new. Medio weapon, there it is, there it is. Increase elemental damage every four seconds, roll a random element. I mean, that's really, really nice. We're gonna take it. Alrighty. Cooking out here. Oh my god. That was an absurd amount of elemental damage. Okay, so with Meteo Weapon, the Typhoon Minigun was playing completely differently. It applied a lot of elemental damage on the enemies and was turning into something really strong. Yeah, imagine if I just had like any element present during the Duke Nuker fight. This would have been kind of insane. Because yeah, it has a lot of elemental buildup. Whether it be Cryo, Fire, or Shock, this would have been like tearing up. Yeah, look at that elemental buildup, my god. My goodness. Um, movement speed could be good here, but reload, we don't benefit from reload. Yeah, I think we'll take elemental favor. I mean, we're always doing elemental damage. Yeah, that's kind of just silly. That's just silly. We love it. We love it here. We love it here. We're cooking. You like elemental damage more than non? Yeah, I think elemental damage is in a really good spot right now, honestly. Um, it's really like elemental or crit, because even explosive, I mean, elements are just so strong. Honestly, elements are probably the strongest things in the game right now. Like, they're the strongest builds, no matter who you're playing. Uh, maybe not like Ranger. Ranger probably doesn't benefit too much from elements, but I mean, everyone else does. We'll take those. Increase our armor. Or do we want to save for upgrades? I can honestly, you know what? I can, I can, I can do without those. I can do without those. Yo, know, watch the YouTube videos and like them. Try to check out the stream. Hey, thanks for stopping by, Kelton. Appreciate you, man. Another volcano rifle. And it has, it has dual blue. It has dual blue. It's tough. Do I do I want to keep my Typhoon? I do love this Typhoon, but that is a really, really solid Volcano Rifle right there. I think I'm going to take it. I think I'm going to take it. Now, I must have left my brain in the microwave too long before I'm stream gonna, because I was just being cells. an idiot here. I had completely forgotten that we had a blue volcano rifle as our secondary weapon that we could have easily traded out for this purple one without losing our Typhoon minigun.
I'm a moving. Well, it's a better weapon in general. So we're definitely gonna take it. Uh, that's also a really nice vulture rifle. <laughs> but no, let's let's stick with elements. Let's stick with elements. All right. Let's see what we got here. We'll upgrade you twice. I actually really like the roll on this by default. Like a lot. I, yeah, no, actually, I think I'm going to keep it the way it is. That's a really solid roll, just in general. I'm stupid. Do I have two volcano guns? I could have kept my Typhoon. What was I thinking? Why did nobody yell at me? You guys know you're supposed to supervise me? That's why you're here. We haven't found a battery yet, I don't think. And a battery would really help come together with these, because we've been using a lot of energy weapons this run. Dual boomsticks, he wanted me to use these. Okay, we'll try them out. Probably not gonna be too good this run, just because we haven't really built too much explosion damage, but. And obviously, these, these things would really, really benefit from something like Baby Boom, you know? But we can give it, we can give them a go. I don't dislike them. Windmill Rifle? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know we just picked up the Dual Boom Sticks. <laughs> God damn it. This is such a tough call for me. I do, I love my Windmill Rifle to death, man. Mmm. Oh, man. Yeah, I'll stick with the dual boomsticks because we have Poppy. That's what I'll do. I'll, we're going to stick with the dual boomsticks simply because I have Poppy. Yeah, I probably would have taken that uh, windmill rifle, but, you know, Poppy kind of hurts it. So, we've already made our decision in that regard. Just wouldn't fit the build as well as these things. Woo. Increased fire rate. Yes, please. Yeah, no, that does great. That does great. I'm loving these things right now. Very nice. And yeah, we'll take we'll take a faster reload all day. We'll take that lighter all day long. Sorry, it's nap time. Finish up playing. You gotta go to the nap area. <laughs> no. We were actually really liking these dual boomsticks here. We were pumping out really good damage with them, and we didn't even have perfume or banana in our build for increased explosive damage. We probably wouldn't find them either, since these were the last caves we were going to find this run. Flower Pot and Frog Prince. I'll take these. These are both pretty solid picks. I've been thinking of different classes. It's quite hard to think of an area that aren't touched by existing classes. And 
And there we go. Frozen target. Not that it really does too much. It doesn't really do too much if we're not doing an elemental. If, we're not, if, if we don't have cryo mastery. You know what I mean? But still cool. Yeah, that was a pretty quick melt. <laughs> that honestly was a, that was a pretty quick melt. We'll take increased uh, elemental damage. Huh. Strange. Yeah. I wonder... Hmm. I wonder. I'm trying to think of a class that they could add that fills a role that isn't already filled. I wonder. A tough one. Um. Hey, thank you for the follow, Kelton. Appreciate it, man. I don't really care about Seeker too much. Oh, but it's gonna... Never mind, I'm not gonna risk the rerolls because I do really want strawberries, so... I'm not gonna risk the reroll. I'd like to see a class that doesn't have any kind of ability regen. Like, you can't even get your alternate fire mods back with regen. But, like, their whole kit comes from dealing damage and killing enemies to get your abilities back. And then, like, you can hold your abilities for longer. So it's like, yeah, you have your ability, but, like, maybe the more damage you do you like build up more rage and then if you get enough for a second ability it just enhances it and then when you throw it out it has like extra effects and it's like much stronger and everything we'll get battery ram i don't plan on using battery ram but it is new i want the graphics well that was a quick <laughs> that was a pretty quick goliath kill right there yeah no these dual boomsticks are putting in work they absolutely are great I didn't like dislike them before, but wow, I'm really liking them now. They're pretty nice. You were right. They might just not be that solid of an early game weapon then. It might be like Kunai in that regard where it really falls short in the early game, but it like skyrockets past a lot of other options in the end game. Alrighty, here I come Iris, watch out. It's a nice beluga cannon. It's a very nice beluga cannon. Doo -doo. Well, we have ten rerolls, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. Mega boon and burn. I don't care about mega boom. Warm up free wheel. Now that's big. That's big right there. And it has first. Unfortunately, it also has last. You know what? I'm gonna reroll again. Lucky and Cryo is also really good, especially because it has first as well. But I just I don't like the greens. Shock free wheel. It has cadence and quick load and first. I think this is our this is our this is our roll right here. Yeah, this was a I'm crazy good build for what we wanted. First guarantees a crit on the first shot of our mag, and we get to shoot the first shot in our mag whenever we pop Stim Bubble with a full magazine. This also pairs incredibly well with bottle cap and top quality. The only thing that could have been better here is if we rolled Cryo to pair with our Cryo Yo crit damage.
That was a pretty quick iris kill, honestly. That was not that was not a bad phase one. That was not a bad phase one. And there you have it, a pretty clean Guardian run. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider leaving a like, a comment, and subscribing as it does massively help out the channel and I appreciate it. If you ever want to hang out live, come check out my Twitch in the description below. I hope you all have a great day. I'm Hatterax, signing off. Peace. You love the quick melee hits, it's like you're to pimp slap an iris. <laughs> it's because we were proccing one ability, but I mean, in all honesty, I should never have taken that ability. That was not a good ability for that run. I just kind of grabbed it, line breaker. I just kind of grabbed it because I've never taken it before, but I can't imagine how good that run would have been if I substituted it out for something else. I kind of want to do it again just for that.